Hi, I'm Janice Florent, Technology Coordinator in the Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Faculty Development. I've created this video to demonstrate how Sister Juliana grades the concert report assignments in her music appreciation class. Recall that the students are required to attend five different types of concerts and write a report about each one. As substantiation for their attendance at the concert, they're also supposed to provide a copy of their ticket and or program. When Sister Juliana is ready to grade those assignment submissions, she would enter her course and she would be able to get to the assignment submission folders either by going to activities and choosing assignments. But notice on the course homepage in the update section, it does indicate that there are some new assignment submissions. So a quick way to get to the assignment submission folder would be just to click on this link and we'll do that now. Sister Juliana can see each of the five assignment submission folders and these three columns, the completed, evaluated, and feedback published column, helps her to determine what's going on in the course. Notice for the Your Choice Assignment Submission folder, we have an indicator of two out of four. This means that there are two students out of the four that are enrolled in the course that have actually submitted something. To uh, find out what they've submitted, we can just click on the link for Your Choice Concert. And this will take us into that Assignment Submission folder. Once inside the Your Choice Assignment Submission folder, we can see what was actually submitted and by which students. Uh, notice we got an indicator that two out of four students had submitted something. And so here are the two students. And then these are the items that were submitted. On the course homepage, we had a message that there were four new assignment submissions, meaning that there were four different items that were submitted. And if we look at this first student, this first student has submitted three separate files. And the second student has submitted one. And those are the four items. But if we look carefully at what was submitted, generally the students will name the file something that you can uh, recognize. So for the first student, we have what's as referred to as the concert report, and it's a Word document, so that's probably the um, actual write-up of it. Then this is looks like a uh, copy of their ticket, and then the third I, uh, file here is actually the program. So what I would like to do is perhaps look at the program and the concert ticket before I actually read the report. And to do that, I just click on the file name, I'll click on the program, and then that opens up. And Brightspace has annotation tools. So when I'm looking at what was submitted, I see that in this view. And if I want to leave a comment on the student's work, I can use the annotations tool, annotation tools. And here is a comment bubble. And so I think I like the arrow. And if I go here to the program, I can just drop a note in there. And so when the student uh, looks at, when their work is graded and the student looks at this, they can actually see what the instructor, uh, what notes the instructor left for them. I can go back to the other submissions, but I will save when I go back to submissions because I don't want to lose what I've done. I click on Save Draft. It takes me back to the submissions for that one particular student. So if I want to see the other files, then I can click on the names here for them. I've looked at the program, so I'd like to look at the ticket that was submitted. And here's a file with the tickets, and that's fine. And then I'll go back to user submissions, which means back to that student submissions. And then now I'll go to their concert report. And so this is the file that they submitted as a part of their concert report. And once again, I can use the annotation tools. So let's say here I want to highlight something. 
and I also want to leave a comment. But I'll leave one of these. All right, so I'll review the student's work and then once I'm ready to grade it over on the right hand side in this feedback pane, evaluation and feedback pane, um, remember we're able to grade this with a rubric. So here is the attached rubric. I click on the link for the rubric. And here, I can choose uh, the options for the criteria and the levels. So let's say the student, um, it was uh, submitted on time. And notice I get some default, that default feedback comes over here, which lets them know why they're uh, getting that particular item. They did submit a ticket and program, so they will get all of the points for that. And then I'll give them all the points for this. So they got a total of 19 points. Then here this says transfer this feedback, um, the rubric feedback and the general feedback to the assignment submission. So I click on save and record and notice their score of 19 out of 20 shows up over here. And then all of the comments for the items that I chose in the rubric also show up here as well. If I wanted to leave any additional information in this uh, for feedback, I could do that as well. And notice I could even add a file, record audio, or record video. And then when I'm done grading this student's work, I can click on Publish. If for some reason I was in the middle of evaluating this and I wanted to save it but not publish it to the student yet, I can click on Save Draft. But I will go ahead and publish this. If I needed to make a change to it, I could always do an update to this work. And when I'm ready to move on to the next student, notice here it says uh, user one of two. If I want to move on to the next student, it's just simply clicking this next student button. And now here is the next student. If I wanted to see what was in fact submitted by this student, I click on the file name for that. And what was submitted actually shows up here. And so this student has the report as well as their ticket all in one file. And if I wanted to grade this, I would click on Concert Report Rubric and repeat the process and then publish the grade. I can return to my assignment submission folder by, going, by clicking on this link back to uh, submissions and that takes me back to my assignment submission folder. Notice I published the feedback for the very first student and it does give an indication that that uh, student's feedback was published in the, with a date and a timestamp. And for the second student, notice that it indicates that I still have to evaluate the feedback for this one. Some faculty like to grade everything and then publish all the students, uh, all the feedback to the students at one time and you can do that as well. As you're grading, just save everything as a draft. And then when you're ready, you would click this, uh, you could click this checkbox here to select everyone and then click on this link to publish the feedback. When I go to my list of assignment submission folders, I can see in my evaluated column that I do get an indicator that I have um, evaluated one out of the four students' work. And I've also published feedback for one out of the four. Now that I've done that, the last thing that I would have to do would be to go to the grade book and indicate whether or not the students would get the five bonus points for submitting three of the concert reports by the mid-semester due date. In my grade book, if I'm on the Manage Grades tab, 
I can indicate whether or not the students have submitted the three concert reports by the mid-semester due date by going to the grade item, clicking on the arrow, and selecting Enter Grades. And notice, here's my checkbox, grade item, select box, grade item. So if I wanted to indicate, for example, this particular student submitted, I can click change his answer to yes. And then it is updated here. And then I can save and close. This returns me to the grade book, and then I get that indicator of yes, and it is, in fact, awarding the five bonus points to this particular student. When the student gets into the course, they do have an indicator that they have one assignment with some unread feedback. They can view that by clicking on this link. They can also go to grades to see what's going on. So the student, if they click on the grades link, in the nav bar, notice the Your Choice concerts where the student got 19 out of 20. They get that information and then the individual feedback that we provided to them. They can also view the rubric and view the feedback uh, in line. And then they are also being awarded the five bonus points here as well.